good time roll. Oh, let the good time roll. We don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times roll. Hopefully you're just away to experience the troll staging on the Trolls Road. I'm filming this on the GoPro, I've had quite a few issues so far. Issues with the card, issues with the camera, all sorts. Hopefully they're rectified. Chuck it on the helmet cam, we'll film it. Um, it's supposed to be stunning. Let's see. I tried so hard but to know what I'm failing on. I should have really seen those warning signs. And that is the Trollstegen, Trolls Road. Hi, well some of you might have spotted the deliberate mistake there. That wasn't all the Trolls Road, there was more up in the clouds. But, as you've probably just seen on the bike cam, it's really foggy up there, you couldn't see it anyway. Um, cracking bit of road, not the greatest to be honest with you for a sports bike uh, very narrow uh, when it's wet slidey uh, but still an amazing place to be beautiful place to be I'm glad I came actually it's, it's quality well we're coming Trollstegen Trollstegen it's called uh, north of cool. well north of Bargain south of Trondheim uh, just google it Trollstegen Trollstegen Trolls Road uh, now I am heading to Mould, Mould, and then from there I pick up Atlantic Road or Atlantic Street. That's the one with the famous bridges, um, and I'll ride that all the way towards uh, Christian Sund, and then maybe Trondheim by tonight, or it might be Trondheim tomorrow. We'll see.
This is right up the top of the Trollstig and the Trolls Road. I mean, there's, pe there's people skiing round about me. It's just an amazing place. Spoiled by a car coming into shot. Hold your head up for the bad times, baby. We can do it all. Well, I want you to catch me when I fall. If I fall at all. Pick up your guitar and play oh, oh, oh. Turn your blues for another day Jenny, play your guitar Pick up your guitar and play I'm hoping you can hear me because it's quite windy. I'm trying to shield the mic if I can. But I'm here at the Atlantic Highway or the Atlantic Road, which is just south of a place called Christiansund, um, sort of halfway between Christiansund and a place called Mold in the south. Uh, you've probably all seen it in the magazines, it's the, as you can see in the background. It's a really big humpback roller coaster bridge. It doesn't look all that special from the roadside, to be honest. I'm not sure where they've gone to get the picture. Um, I've been trying to find a spot, but when you ride over it, it, it is a bit like a roller coaster just to go over the top. I'll chuck the helmet cam and, and go over it a few times just so you can see. But yeah, on way to Christensen, and then uh, hopefully I should be in Trondheim tonight. Keep trucking. A chap called Emil Larson got in touch and offered to put me up with him and his girlfriend at his place in Trondheim. Emil had been following since the very start. World, this is Emil. Emil, world. Hello, world. <laughs> Emil was very kind to uh, let me stay at his place last night. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right. So Emil's going to be signing the um, Teapot One t-shirts. Yep. Left-handed. That's no problem. So all the greatest are left-handed. So I'm going to get this signed by everybody I meet along the way. And then at the end of the trip, one will go for auction, for charity, and one will go up on my wall. Non-bikers must think we're a bunch of nutters. Everywhere we go, we just take pictures of bikes. Hold your head up for the bad times, baby. We can do it all. Well, I want you to know that what I'm saying is just for you. Halfway through the day, Emil had to head back home, but I carried on solo up north. By the end of day 18, I was in a place called Mo Airana, right at the start of the Arctic Circle. I set up camp for what turned out to be about four days as I waited for new tyres to be sent up from Bridgestone, Norway, and I did the Arctic Circle Raceway. Well, this is our turn up for the books. Uh, this is Sturia, he's just turned up at the campsite. Uh, he heard from uh, some friends in Oslo that I was looking for a, a new back tyre. So he's very kindly turned up and he's just shown me where the tyre shop is. 
So hopefully tomorrow morning I can go and pick up a, a new tyre ready for the racetrack. Sturia, thank you very much. That's the pressure. <laughs> I love Norway. We do. <laughs> Well folks, we're here. This is the Arctic Circle Raceway. Funnily enough, in the Arctic Circle. It's just north of a town called Moirana, which is about halfway, three quarters of the way up the west coast of Norway. Um, this place is amazing. I think it was opened in either 95 or 2005, I can't remember when. But the place is, it just looks incredible and I can't wait to get in and, uh, and sample the track. This has all come about through a friend of mine, Gordon. Gordon, thank you so much for all your help in Norway. Uh, Gordon toured around Norway about 10 years ago and made a whole load of biking friends who he's kept in touch with. Uh, after seeing that I was coming here, Gordon passed the word amongst his buddies and the biking community being the biking community, uh, everybody has embraced me. Um, they've been fantastic. I've had uh, messages of support on Facebook, on the website, email. It's been brilliant. Thank you so much to everybody. It's been just incredible. Uh, the, 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 the reception I've had in Norway. I love the place. But anyway, through a um, friend of a friend of a friend, basically, there's a chap who works here called Steen. He's now got in touch and he's going to rock up shortly to let me in and let me loose on the circuit. Um, try and finish off these Battleaxe T30s. See what they're like on the track. Can't wait. Right, excuse time. Uh, when Steen arrived, he told me that their winter had only just finished, and as such, they'd not cleared the track. So the top section, which is known as North Pole, still had a whole load of moose poo, gravel, and uh, sand all up there. But you can see it in the clip. That's my excuse. That's a good circuit. <laughs> So you can see the tyre there, it's five and a half thousand miles and um, four laps of the circuit. This is 
squared off quite a lot. Well, there's still probably a thousand miles left on her. Uh, but I'm heading right up into the wilds now, so um, I'm going to get that changed tomorrow. Bridgestone, Norway are uh, thankfully passing one over. Yeah, I've had, um, I had about four days off the bike there. Well, Monday I did the Arctic Circle Raceway, uh, but the rest of the time I was just sat at Moirana, um, waiting on the tyre coming. But to be honest with you, it was, it was good, it was a nice break. I, I had a chance to do the, the next blog instalment, I think it's blog two, it should be up online now. A uh, chance to do a little bit of vid for the Atlantic Circle, uh, Atlantic, the Arctic Circle Raceway. Um, and I've started the next video episode, episode four, I think this one will be. So I got a fair amount of work done, it was good, but by me, it's, it's good to get back in the saddle and get back on with things. Massive thank you to Bridgestone UK, Bridgestone Norway, uh, Dan and Steve and uh, Tim in Bridgestone UK and Thomas in Bridgestone Norway. Massive thanks lads for sorting this out and getting the tyre up to me so quick. Uh, and a huge thanks to Bjorn at Shervix uh, Scooters and Motorcycles for popping the tyre on today. Thank you very much mate and cheers for the offer of a coffee as well. Um, and last but not least, Bob Collins. Uh, Maniac Bob, plenty of you will probably know him, many have probably heard of him, lovely bloke down at FWRs in Kennington, uh, he even offered to, to send me a tyre in the post, so Bob thanks very much bud, uh, appreciate the offer and glad to know that you've, uh, you've got my back. Right, onwards, and upwards. It's unbelievable folks, I'm, I'm back on the road again now, uh, on my way to a place called Skutvik. And from there I'll get the ferry across to Skolver, Schalver, I think it is, in Lofoden. Uh, meet up with some people hopefully and um, be riding through Lofoden. Um, I'm well above the Arctic Circle now. To give you some idea, I'm way further north than Iceland. And yet, look at this weather. It's beautiful. It's 25 degrees uh, in Moirana when I left this morning. Probably a little bit less than that now because of the, the wind up here. But I'm about 1,200 metres above the sea. And, um, wow, look at it, stunning, stunning. just left uh, Karina and Tom and Andre at Vietvik and I'm now on my way heading up to Alta. It's uh, a long drive that. It's about 400 odd k's I think from Vietvik. So I'll probably be riding till about 9ish tonight but it doesn't get dark up here so that's that. Um, finished at Lofoten. Massive thank you to Karina and Tom and our uh, lads, uh, Ruben and Tom. Tremendous Norwegian hospitality. Um, can't thank you guys enough. They met me at the ferry at Svalbard and we did uh, a bit of an escorted ride, went for something to eat, and um, then went. To, they took me to uh, their place on the wee island, and I can't remember what it's called, but I think the place was called Lam, Lamshagen, I think. It means Lamb Garden, basically. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The sunsets and things there. Well, the sun doesn't set, but the, the views from their balcony was just stunning. Uh, I tried whale meat for the first sorry born free, but you know, when in Rome, um, I was given barbecued whale and it was stunning. Wow! Um, but don't all rush out killing whales, whatever you do. But uh, yeah, fantastic. And then they took me to the most romantic spot in Norway, apparently to see the midnight sun. We were a bit late, so the sun had already hit the water and it was now on its way back up. But I'm sure you're seeing a bit of video clip about that now. This is as dark as it gets. And it is. Uh, well, that's 25 past 12 UK time, 25 past one Norwegian time in the morning. <laughs> and that's the sun on the way back up. 
absolutely incredible. And then this morning I had breakfast and uh, Tom even washed my bike. So excellent. Thank you very much Tom, really appreciate that. Norway. I cannot say enough good things about Norway. It is just spectacular. And the welcome that you will get here is nothing short of incredible. It really is. Everybody is so welcoming, they're so helpful and so friendly. Norway, I've had a whale. Literally, I've had a whale. Now the last bit, Alta, and then hopefully tomorrow up to Nordcap. Not often you get that in the UK, 180 miles till the turn off this road. Let's get back to it. I keep saying this, but can you get any better than that? And this is what you get with Norwegian roads. Everything hunky dory. And then sand and gravel right across the road. <laughs> and I'm not kidding, I saw one yesterday. Wild reindeer. Well, if you're wondering why I'm wrapped up with the old bandana, it's because of the mozzies. They're everywhere. They're about the size of starlings. But this is my last night in um, Norway, and I'm camped up just outside a wee town called Alta, which is. Uh, South of Nordcap. Um, went up to Nordcap today. Great place to go and experience if you've never been. Um, it's hard work getting there. It's about 80, 90 miles of sort of track, if you like. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's you know it's a tarmac road, but uh, it's hard going, real hard going to be honest. But glad I went. Uh, about 25 quid to get in though. No matter whether you've cycled there, walked there, or come on a bus, doesn't matter. Uh, but, well worth going to see. As you can see, what a perfect way to finish Norway. This country is just incredible. It's stunning in every sense. The scenery, the welcome you get off of people. Um, it's just an incredible country. and. Uh, I only wish I'd discovered it sooner. It's a fantastic place. Uh, Emil, uh, Stian, uh, Peter, Yuna, Karina, Tom, uh, Andre, uh, Harold, uh, Greta. Uh, I've met so many people here and so many people have made me feel so welcome and at home. And um, it means the world and thank you so much for uh, giving me such a good start to this trip and um, can't wait, I just cannot wait to get going with this now. Next steps, south through Sweden and Finland, down to Helsinki, going to meet up with uh, Andy McGrath, um, another mate of Big Gordon's, uh, pick up my Russian and Mongolian visas off of him. Uh, then I head south through Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, down to the Transvagarisan Highway in Romania. Uh, and then from there I will head north through Moldova, Ukraine, up into Russia to Moscow. 
um, and I'll base myself in Moscow for a couple of days, get the beast serviced, and then the adventure really begins. Cannot wait. Hope you're enjoying it, folks, because I sure as hell am. Remember, live your life. Folks, it is Tuesday the 4th of June. I've got no idea what day I'm on, I can't remember. Day 20-odd-ish, 30-odd-ish, something like that. We've got the Russian Vidas. Can you hear him shout? 